Okay, before we get it done, it's it's scary. It, it's daunting. It's just one job after another leads to another, leads to another. And before you know it, it's nine o'clock again at night and you're packing, packing your tools away, ready for the next day. Um, I'm, I'm not being, I, I'm being honest here. I, I fucking shit myself, the, the scale of this. Uh, but you can't, you just have to keep going. You have a list of things that you need to do. You know what needs to be done. You, you just get on with it. I built this yesterday. I built a sofa bed, a rock and roll bed. I realize now that it's an absolute twat to get back up again. And the only way to do it is to get outside and go up and lift it because I don't have a snazzy foot pedal handle or pull straps or anything. It is literally brute force. Um, but it is what it is. I paid 600 quid for it, including delivery, 620 from eBay. It is what it is and it's comfy. So, hey, it does the job. I don't need seat belts in the here. I'm not carrying any passengers in the back. It's just me and the missus and the two dogs. Uh, I've got three seats up front. If I need to take one of the kids away with me for something, to the shop or whatever, it's no, no biggie. But in terms of just this, the grand scale of this whole endeavor, it, it, it's causing sleepless nights. It is. Um, I haven't got this. I've never done this before. You just, you just have to get on with it, which is what I'm going to do. And let's, uh, let's work out how to do a split charge relay. I'm going to probably spend the next 10 minutes looking on YouTube, um, learning how to do it so that I can make a YouTube video on how to do it, how I did it. It's, uh, basically a loop. I learn. Make another video, you learn. I don't know. Um, I'm, almost, I'm fucking rambling. I'm procrastinating. That's what I'm doing. I'm procrastinating. I'm stalling because I'm shitting myself. First, I have to go to the garage. I have to go to the shop and buy primer and red oxidizing paint because I'm going to be making some holes today and I want to make sure that they're not going to rust. So I'll pause this now come back to it later and you'll see me with my head in the engine compartment drilling holes and making mistakes and which means I have to take the glove box off again <sighs> fuck it let's go so I'm going to take the seats out because I need to run the cable underneath the mat to the position where I want it, which is. I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna put my battery there, which seems to be the most popular spot. And while I've got that out, I might have a look at seeing if I can get a diesel heater to fit under there as well. I have that as well, ready to go in. I say ready, it's in its box. So I'm gonna take this seat out now, put these outside uh, the front of the house and while i've got a chance i might put a bit of polish on that floor because it is gopping and also i need to carpet this white stretch see you're only putting in a split charge relay but it just one job leads on to another so you might as well just get them all done at the same time it's going to be a long fucking day uh passenger swivel base is being removed uh, i've taken the step out which i've just managed to give a hoover as well clean it up and um, I've just pulled this back so jobs are going to be carpet that area there run a cable through for the split charge relay so the next thing to do is take out the glove box and then we'll crack on from there I need to go change batteries on this camera uh, and then we'll switch to a POV view, which isn't going to be pretty because I am roasting. It's unusually hot here in September for Northern Ireland. We don't normally... Another fucking spider. Sorry. We don't usually get the summer in September. So I'm going to change batteries on you, put you on my head, and then you can see what I'm at in terms of fecking around, trying to work out where to put this cable. <sighs> Fun, 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 fun. See you in a minute. So I'm trying to prepare as much as I possibly can. Preparation and all that prevents piss poor performance. 
So what I've done is I'm going to be drilling through the bulkhead. So I'm going to use one of these that will protect the cable from chafing around. And what I've had to do is measure that circumference, which I've just done using my little tool here. And I put it in there and it told me that was 12 mil. So I'm putting that away. Don't need that. Conference, diameter, whatever. So we have that. So that's a 12 mil. Now I've got uh, HSS 12 mil drilling point. So I'm going to be drilling a hole using this, which will give me the perfect diameter for that. And then I can spray that with white primer once just to prevent it from rusting the hole then I can start putting all this in now one of the issues I have is this doesn't fit in my cable cutters that's pointless but what I have been doing then is just running the Stanley knife around the edge and crimping using that so I'll be back in a minute phone ringing that'll be the wife so I'm back in the room Okay, so what we have to do then is mount this. Um, I've done the first connection point on here using the uh, crimper and a lighter because the split charge really comes with heat shrink as well to protect the points in there. So that's job one. So they say measure, measure and measure. So I've got a little flexi, I love this little thing. Got a little flexi tape measure just to measure the distances so you can measure cut measure cut all right so let's go over to the car or the van sorry and just see where we're going to position that so the two screws go on one side corner to corner that way and then the big ones go through that way okay let's I'll do this so i've got my screws i've got my plate just put them there Remove the air filter, column filter, out of the way, give you a bit more room. So I'm going to run the first live from here, this point, and I'll probably stick a new screw on there, I'll find one that fits, put that on, and then we're going to run the cable over the top and have the split charge relay sitting here okay and we'll just do that so I'm gonna obviously this has been tied on over here I have no idea what it, that does that's what's typical with these vehicles when you've had them somebody's had them for years they create all sorts so let's uh, let's get this cut get this drilled in okay First, I think what I'll do is I'll cut this bit of trim out. Turns out they're not self-tapping. Which means I have to drill the hole. Just to get it started. wood that's metal oh, for fuck's sake. Get a grip. 
Yes, sir. Next to useless. Right, let's get the drill bit back on. Cool. What's that bit done? <sighs> Check out all my oil. First of October, that's getting fixed. Fingers crossed. Right, so next thing then is to create a link to that. And we'll just check, see if I've got anything that fits that already. Now my dad is a, well, was a big proponent of never throw something out, son. You never know when you might need it. So luckily for me, I have a lot of different sizes, nuts and bolts. So here we are, me randomly looking through these nuts and bolts, and... Check that out. Now there is a bolt, oh, that one, there is a bolt there. Uh, see if it's M5, could be an M5. No, let's just use this. So we need to get the fuse to, between the fuse and the relay. So we've supplied the fuses. Okay. I'm assuming that's a pack of two. And everything you need to go in there. Oh, I see what they've done. Clever. All right. So that encapsulates your fuse. These are all the same, 125, or 12.5. 125. Let's see what we got. 32, 32, 32. So that will go in there. So I need to make allowance to put this in. Okay, so let's have a look where we're gonna put that. Now, space up there, to there, to there. Now, do we put the bolt in here? Let's see why not. Oh, we could put the 
fuse here, mount it there through that point. Yeah, let's do that. Let's mount that there so we can access it. Probably go that way. It's tidier. Yeah, let's do that. And then, so we'll cut the cable, go get a pen, cut the cable to here, put the fuse in, go around into the charge relay, and then we'll punch a hole through here. Maybe a bit lower down next to this one, punch a hole down here, put the grommet through, and run the live through. Let's do it. So, I scored it by the battery. Uh, I haven't got wire cutters thick enough for this, so. Just going to score the plastic. And then use my snips here. I don't even know if you can see me. Maybe down a bit. So we have a connector for that one specifically. Oh, heat shield. So I don't know where I left you. Um, I think we were just in the engine compartment. So what I've done so far is I've taken out the side step, cleaned out all of this. This is going to be hiding the um, the live cable to the relay uh, to the leisure battery over here. So I've got all that done. Um, now I need to do is take the glove box out again. That's all I ever seem to do with this damn thing. Take the glove box out. And then I can see where the live cable comes from the split charge relay. And then I'm going to obviously channel it round. That's why I needed to take that out. And while I was at it, I, I, uh, I channeled my inner cleaner and cleaned out that step because it was bogging. So, right. Um, oh, yeah, that handbrake could do with a lick of paint. And also I reconnected. I don't know if it disconnected or what I, if I did it, but I reconnected the sensor, the handbrake sensor. I don't know. So, where are we at in here? Is I've mounted the first fuse for the ba leisure battery to go into this mount, which I first fixed. Yeah, also, I cocked up with the drill bits. I realized that this is a metal drill bit, not the other one, which is a wood drill bit, which is why it didn't go through the first time. So, that's all ready to go connected and earth all right that needs to be earthed other chassis so that goes to the fuse that point there this goes in wired in that goes out through the van along to another fuse and then we do uh, connect to the leisure battery which is still not sitting what I found was this really cool thing here 
was like, what the hell is that? But that is an earth. So I don't have to drill any more holes in this van. So I'm gonna earth the fuse, uh, the split charge relay around the back onto that and close it. I'm really happy about that. <sighs> so first things first, glove box off. And I'm sure you've seen me do the glove box 100,000 million times. So you don't need to see that again. I need to go get my drill. Take all this off again. And maybe I'll, I'll check the, the connections in here because uh, something's not right. Um, since I've connected this, which is working perfectly, 12.5 volts is my main battery. As soon as I connected this, I blew the fuse, the 10 amp fuse, oh, sorry, the 5 amp fuse, and um, now I can't start the van. So I think I've uh, popped a fuse or the solenoid on the starter motor or something. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, and so I spoke to a mate. He says, if you run jump leads to the starter motor, you should hear it clicking, bang, 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 trying to open up. So then I know I haven't wrecked the starter motor. Doesn't help me. Still doesn't solve me sorting the van out. Anyway, I'll take all this off. Uh, do you want, I'll, uh, I'll time lapse this for you so you can see where I'm at. As I feed this cable down here, around and in. So the, in the pack, they come with little cable holders that you can plastic tie on. So let's see how we get on. I need another, I'm gonna go get my GoPro gooseneck clamp so you can watch. I'll put you over there so you can see what's going on. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, uh, the wiring for the, the leisure battery is pretty much done. Uh, I'm just gonna mount it over there for now uh, and stick an earth. There's a couple of screws, holes in there that I could probably just put a wee earthing point in. What I'm interested in now is while I've got the seat out and I'm not driving this van anywhere for the week, uh, I might tackle as the next job the, as you can see, the, uh, you know what I'm talking about if you've seen one of these before. Chinese diesel heaters. Okay, so. Hopefully the instructions are clear. But I'm not gonna use this lovely 10 litre tank. Oh no, sir, each Bob. I'm going to feed it directly off the diesel heater at uh, the diesel tank. So first things first, now I have seen somebody fit one of these. Don't know what that is yet. So they fitted theirs under the seat. And I quite like that idea because it, it's just dead space, to be honest. So I'm thinking if I can get Oh. Fucking broke my finger. If I can get this under my seat in, in the space that's there, then why not? Uh, obviously, I need to look underneath the van to see what's there, what damage I could do, what's breakable. But yeah, look at that. Snazzy keyring to start it and shit. So, just gonna put that, pop it back. Let's have a quick flick. Yeah, the destructions look all right. And all the bits and pieces there. It's probably madness, but I quite like the idea of it. I like the idea I can just run it straight off the fuel tank. Fuck it. I'm going to do it. If it fits. So uh, I'm going to turn you off for a second. And I'm just going to go outside where my driver's seat is and just see if I can sneak this in. In that space. And then what I'll do is... <laughs> Can't believe I'm doing this. Look, I've just done a split charge relay. 
everything's mental today. Uh, I haven't tested it like, I could blow myself up, but I can't see how, it's just a power lead. Ah, look at it, it's all tidy man, it's all through. Now, the reason I put it under the carpet, because the bolts have risers on them, so it lifts, it lifts the seat base off the ground. So that means um, I've got loads of room to run the cable behind those bolts and it's not going to be affected by the seat at all because of those we uh, rises around the uh, nut fittings uh, the bolt fittings so it's uh yeah it's wee buns really but i have a look at this yeah let's just have a look i'm not committing it to it today i might do it tomorrow it's another day job um and like i say all the wiring is going to be going over there anyway so at some point I'm gonna to have to take that driver's seat out again. So let's just do it now. Also, I'm gonna to need to think about carpeting these today, if I've got time. Do I need to cover that? Does anybody have to, do you need to see this? It's not a VIN plate. It's all in Germany. It's all, no, there's a bit of English. Just internal pressure on the front axle wheel cylinder bleeder valve. I'm sure somebody if new, who needs to look after that in the future can work it out. Right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I found this under the carpet. Um, German. Uh, so unfortunately, there's no dates on it. That would have been cool. Oh, some sort of German worksheet dropped in here. Right. So the next job then is cracking on with this let's just see I'm not going to commit to it as I said but I will be putting the glove box back together and putting this uh, seat back in uh, but first I'm going to give this floor a bit of a clean as well because it's pure bogging all right uh, catch you in a bit if I do catch you at all again after this if not I'll see you in the next video where I'll have probably set something on fire like and subscribe if I haven't asked you to do that already. And yeah, any comments in the comment section below, greatly appreciated. Share it with your friends uh, who are interested in this feckin' madness. It is fun. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye.